Hey, welcome back once again to The Past is Alive. Hope you're all having a good weekend. Tonight we're back doing the weekend recap, showcasing things I picked up over the last few days. In this case, I went to a card show and also stood out in the cold for a half hour to get into an estate sale that led me to find this pretty freaking awesome binder full of baseball cards. We're going to check all that out tonight on the weekend recap. Stay tuned. Before we dive into this weekend's pickups, I want to go ahead and go over the giveaway for Ripping for Ripkins one more time. YouTuber Corey, aka Ripping for Ripkins YouTube channel, which I'll link down in the description below. He's doing a special 1,000 subscriber giveaway video and giving away a bunch of sweet prizes of cards. And all you got to do is subscribe to him and comment on the video that he just posted today. But let's take a look at the cards that are up for grabs here in case any of you guys missed it. Uh, the fifth place prize here is going to be Zakino. Autograph from 2020 Heritage. That is the fifth place prize. The fourth place prize is this sweet Nolan Arenado Black Border Redemption PSA 9 2010 Bowman Prospects. The third place prize is going to be this sweet Juan Soto Allen and Ginter from 2020 Auto. Very nice. I think it's valued around 100 bucks. And the second place prize, a beautiful. PSA 10, 1984 Don Russ, Kyle Ripken Jr. Love that set, love that card. And it's a Gem Mint 10. I think it's around like 80 bucks, somewhere in there as far as value goes. And the number one prize for Corey's giveaway is this awesome lot of 2019 Topps Fire rookie cards. You have Alonzo Tatis Jr. and Vladdy Jr. And they are all in 10s. So the link is in the description if you want to have a chance to win any of those cards. Click on the link, subscribe to Corey, and comment on his giveaway video he posted today. So on Friday, I went to a local antique mall that I frequent fairly often, and also a card show at the local mall. And the first pickups here from the antique mall, this guy, now I remember he had a bunch of 2020 Series 1 Topps cards in a box for like 10 cents a piece. So I wanted to go see if I couldn't find a few rookies that I've been after. But here's what I came back from the Antique Mall with. Juan Gonzalez, 1990 Don Russ. This is a reverse negative error card. That was 50 cents. I couldn't remember if I had it already, so I decided to pick it up regardless. Still a cool card nonetheless. Jose Abreu's first Bowman card. Another nice one there. That was 50 cents. And a bunch of 10 centers here. This is the, really the main reason why I went to this Antique Mall, because I feel like I have this card somewhere, but I can't find it. But Randy Rosarina, big name right now. These were 10 cents a piece for his 2020 Topps rookie card out of Series 1. I picked up two of them. I could not believe that they were still there. Also, Zach Gallon rookie card. Couldn't go wrong with that one for a dime. Dylan Cease. Nick Solak. Another Zach Gallon rookie. Can't pass on those for 10 cents. And Trent Grisham. But the big one I was most excited about, other than the Randy Rose Arena, this Garrett Cole Topps Chrome rookie card um, from, what, 2013, I believe? And it was two bucks. It's a refractor, too. I just bought the regular Chrome card a couple months ago, I think, for like nine bucks. So for his uh, his rookie refractor for two bucks, cannot go wrong on that one. Those were all from the Antique Mall. I was pretty excited about that haul. And then from the card show that I went to also that day on Friday, I found a couple rookies I've been needing for a while. These were in a 50-cent box. Dansby Swanson definitely had a great season. And also Corey Seager. His uh, Don Russ Raid rookie. These were both 50 cents. Could not pass on them. Derek Jeter, 93 tops rookie card. And definitely an iconic card. 10 bucks for this one. Anytime I see it for 10 bucks, I will always buy it. I think that's a, a good price for it. And um, the next one up, Moncada's Bowman rookie card. I think I had his first Bowman card, but not his rookie card. So I had to get that one for the PC. Two bucks on that one. Another one I've been needing for a while. Aaron Judge, his Bowman rookie card. I think I paid 10 bucks for this. I think that's about the going rate between eight and ten bucks, something like that. But it's a nice shape. Couldn't pass on that one, especially since I'm going after tops and Bowman rookie cards, really uh, base cards only. So I'm not the tops and the Bowman both for a Judge. 
Not a nice one I've been wanting for a while. Granky, more than likely a future Hall of Famer. His uh, Bowman rookie card from 2004, or 2003 even. Um, one I don't really see too often. So five bucks for the Granky. And here's one I've wanted for a while that I just never seemed to come across. And then I came across it in a dollar box. George Springer's 2014 update rookie card. I think that's 2014. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, yeah, I don't really ever come across that card for a buck. Couldn't pass it, even though some people may hate Springer and may hate the Astros. I still wanted it for my rookie PC. And also, the same goes for this next one. This is one I've had on my list for quite a while and just never come across it for what I think is a decent price. But 2011 Tops Update, a very legendary set. I have all the rookie cards, or all the key rookies, I should say, out of this set now. The Altuve, I never really come across it for less than 30 bucks. So at 25, I figured, yeah, what the hell, I'll pick it up. Not a very desired player or card, but for my rookie PC, I just that's one I've wanted for a few years now and just never uh, never really come across too often, at least for a, a decent price. So hate me for it or not, it still will go in the rookie box. 25 bucks. Now let's go into this next pickup. This is a binder full of baseball cards. This was uh, what I brought home with me from the estate sale. I went to this at 7 a.m. yesterday morning. It stood in the cold for about a half hour uh, because I saw that they had listed online that they had baseball cards at this place. They didn't say what they were, so they could have been junk wax or anything else. But this is what I left here with. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside of here. All right, so I pulled the can with a tripod to make it a little bit easier to see. The very first page, we have all Mark McGuire's, um, some junk wax stuff, uh, some modern stuff. I used to love these as a kid, these Milkbone Superstars, 93. My grandma, who is no longer with us, rest in peace to Grandma Brooks, she uh, used to save these for us. She'd buy all these milk bones for her dog, and every time we'd go visit her, she lived about two and a half hours away, she would uh, put these aside for Eric and I. So, very cool to see, see that after all these years. So, Mark McGuire's the first page, and I noticed some of these pages had cards in the back and they were doubled up next page we have all griffies like i said this was 20 bucks and i flipped through it saw a few key cards and i was like i think that's definitely worth it so some junk wax griffies but um you can never go wrong with collecting ken griffey jr nothing on the back side of that page some more griffies on the next page we have some insert cards second year 90 score and also a collector's choice insert home run all stars which is a pretty awesome card never seen that one before gold signature on that one classic 93 upper deck, and check this out, his rookie card, 1989 Topps created, and this one is pretty sharp looking, you can see that with the, gl uh, the glare of the light, uh, centered up pretty nice from what it looks like to me on the back side, um, I don't see any really too much white showing on the black border, and then also the franchise, love that card, it's really nice, and then for whatever reason, Ken Griffey Sr. is in the bottom corner there, and some more Griffey's on this page, some more Junk Wax era stuff, I used to love that card as a kid, like the three-time motion card, 92 per deck. Always thought that was a cool card. And then, of course, Ken Griffey Sr. steals a spotlight in the bottom right corner again. But uh, next page, we have the big unit, Randy Johnson. Not his rookie, but first-year card, 89 tops traded. He had a, a card in the 89 trade or top set, the base set. So 92 to rule play. I know everyone loves that set. Electric Diamond, parallel card. And then, of course, Randy Johnson's rookie card. 89 Fleer, not the error card with the Marlboro sign in the background. It's blacked out. Still pretty awesome. Nothing on the back of those pages. Next up, we have some Hendersons there and some more Randys. Actually, Hendersons. Seeing through the next page. A couple of Randys on that page. And then the Henderson page. We see Frank Thomas peeking through in the back. Uh, so we have some modern stuff in here, too. Some 2019 uh, Diamond Kings Heritage and uh, some more junk era stuff and the big hurt page there it's a modern also uh some older stuff too 93 select spirit of the game insert set from 93 don russ and several 91 tops cards and a couple more here on this page too a decent amount more actually 2019 diamond kings 92 throw play and frank thomas rookie card another nice one that i saw in there that caught my attention and this is kind of a cool oddball one king b from 92. Pretty interesting. Up on the back side of that page, we move on to Nolan Ryan. And we have some inserts in here, too. The Walter Hughes Collection. Uh, I always liked that card. I had that one as a kid. And also his 94 um, 
Don Ross Special Edition. Um, the final year that uh, he had cards. This card in 94 tops. I think might have been the very last cards produced of uh, Mr. Ryan. Very cool card there. And then we have some uh, comic ball cards from Looney Tunes at the bottom. Not from the back side. Some more Nolans on this page. Pretty neat. And then we move on to Bo Jackson. I love that card as a kid. His 90 score all-star game. thought that was a really awesome one. Joe Carter and McGuire randomly thrown in there. Portrait card. And of course, the iconic Bo Knows Football Baseball 90 score. Very, very hot card back then in 1990. And still is uh, to this day pretty much. Not as much as it was, but a lot of people still love that card for nostalgic reasons, I think. More Bo Jackson on this page is 94 tops gold. And then that takes us to Aaron Judge page here. 2019 Don Russ. And also, I don't know if these are inserts. I've never seen these before. Uh, subset cards are what they are. Uh, Judge opening day. All rise. Don Russ parallel or insert there. Pretty cool. And some Ted Williams cards from 92 upper deck. Too bad they're not autographed. Or one of them's not autographed. That'd be sick. Williams Diamond Kings. And from the Ted Williams set in the early 90s. Moves us on to Mike Piazza. Mike Piazza, second year card, 93 upper deck. And we have some modern ones on there as well. Upper deck 40 man. And this cool home run all-stars uh, collector's choice card. Nothing on the back side of Piazza. We've got some docks here. Some late 80s dock goodens and even some uh, newer ones. Then it moves us on to Altuve, 2019 uh, Don Russ. Don't blink. And back to Nolan Ryan again. I don't know if I've ever seen this card. That's pretty cool. 1990 score. And his 89 traded and also some newer stuff from Diamond Kings last year. And takes us on to Don Mattingly. Some newer ones of him too. The 68 design there. Never seen that one before. A lot of 92 trouble playing here. And some Clemens with Mattingly mixed in there. Actually, <laughs> I keep getting fooled by that. Always like that one. 91 tops from the Green Monster. And some more Clemens on this back side. Early 90s and whatnot. And we go to the Ripken page. 94 Clutter's Choice and that old school cell phone. That's pretty cool. Early 90s Ripkins. And I just gave away a nice rookie there. <laughs> uh, Ripken 2019 Don Russ is a cool one. Power Zone. Never seen that one before. Ripken Eddie. And some Chipper Jones here. 93 Don Russ rated rookie. And check that out. Chipper Jones, 1991 Topps rookie card. And I just noticed this before I started making the video. There are two in here. Pretty freaking awesome. I did notice that with a couple cards. We pulled this out of a pack recently. Insert card, 92 Stadium Club. And 93 Upper Deck, on deck with Chipper Jones. Pretty freaking sweet. And newer Diamond Kings. Some Molitors, Manny Ramirez, Future Stars card from 94 Tops. I was a big Molitor collector back in the mid-90s. And it takes us to Chris Sale. A bunch of his newer cards. And there's a parallel from Optic. And on to Mookie Betts. All within the last few years. Clayton Kershaw, Masters of the Game. Man, big league and also league leaders. And we go into Goldschmidt early on in his career there. Paul Goldschmidt. And that takes us to random Robin Yount page. I used to really hate those MVPs uh, or one per pack. They used to drive me nuts. Granky and a Trout and Vita Blue from the Ted Williams set. Acuna and some more Mike Trouts. And another Acuna too. Nice surprise coming up in here. Speaking of Acuna, there's another Granky on the back side there. And that takes us to some nice rookies here. Vladdy Guerrero Jr., Bowman Platinum rookie card, and also Stadium Club rookie. And I guess that would be his Diamond Kings rookie as well. So three of his rookie cards up top there. Pretty freaking awesome. Anthony Rizzo and Chris Bryant. Actually, Chris Bryant's on the next page. Oh, you're killing me. Bunch of Chris Bryant's. And that special insert set from Tops a few years back. And this page is the one I was talking about. This was pretty awesome. This uh, caught my eye big time when I was flipping through this real quick. So we got some Acunas, and look at that. His 
update rookie card. Not the bat down one, but uh, a freaking sweet card. This card is valued around like 30 bucks, somewhere around that range. So uh, that by itself covers the entire bond. Between that, the Griffey tops traded. Uh, I think those were a pretty good deal to get both those for 20 bucks. Can't beat it. Probably not giving the Acuna away. Probably the Griffey too at some point. We got Puckets on the next page. Man of the Year card. I always like that one. And also some newer Don Russ. George Brett Page. Little cards, as we used to call them. 93 tops there. Got a blank sleeve. And some Yelich here. Didn't really have too great of a year. Masters of the Game. Cecil Fielder. And Ichiro. We'll be getting in the Hall of Fame here in a couple of years. There's a Cecil Fielder on the back of that page. To go through these again real, uh, real good to make sure I didn't miss anything. Couple rhinos, Yachty Molina, two of his cards actually, the 84 Tops design. Some Dave Justice cards early on in his career. Scherzer, and quite a few Scherzers in there, along with Verlander. Two amazing pitchers. Texas of Jim Palmer, 2019 Stadium Club. Ryan Braun, another Jim Palmer, Diamond Kings, Javi Baez, Otani. I think that's Otani's rookie card, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Juan Soto is a nice one, though. I like that one a lot. Uh, Tatis, Otani, and then uh, Baez, Master of the Game. And our final page here is all different years of stadiums. Pretty cool. 93 triple play, Joe Robbie. And we have 94 score at the Houston Stadium. So pretty awesome. I definitely think it was worth it. Drop me a line down in the comments. Let me know if you think it was worth it or your favorite card that I picked up over the weekend. I'd love to hear from you. And again, don't forget to go and sub to Corey Ripping for Ripkins and get entered in his giveaway. And I will see you guys all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.